Hello, this is Dylan from GSM Exchange, broadcasting live from the Trade Zone City of Wireless 2013. I'm here with Mr. Mandy Singh from company Rose Telecom uh, from Holland. How are you, Mandy? I'm fine. How are you? Very well, thank you. Share with me how is the being an exhibitor at CTA, how is it working out for you? Uh, it's the first time for me, so, so far so good. So far so good? Yeah. I only heard good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the first time, so we are meeting companies, taking this check out the feedbacks and so far so good they're promising a lot let's very see good. what do you think it's very different than CBIT uh, yes it's it's different than CBIT uh, in what way it's very interesting because you've you've gone to CBIT for so long and that's a completely different uh, yeah, yeah. exhibition now here you have more US uh, suppliers and everything is based in US and everything yeah and there are very less companies that's coming from Europe it's a good way to expand your US market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For you, if you want to expand your uh, market, this is the way. Okay, very good. Uh, well, you're in business for such a long time, everybody knows you. You have a, such a good name. Uh, but for the very few companies that then don't know you, share with us what, when did you establish your company, what exactly you do? Uh, I, we started in 2005. We had a retail shop. And from there... The early beginning. This was the early beginning. Uh, so. Uh, in the shop and we started uh, low, slowly slowly in uh, retailing and then after we selling to the retail shops in local Netherlands and from there on importing exporting so gradually from retail towards wholesale yeah <laughs> so did, you keep, did you keep any retail operation or no 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 we just now have only wholesale we have our own warehouse in the Netherlands right. and from there is going physically stock you're a stockholder, everybody knows that. And you, you, you've been based in Holland from the very beginning. From the very beginning, we're based in Holland, yeah. Okay. But what would you say would be your strongest brand? Uh, uh, not over the years, right now. Cause it's right now, it's Samsung. Samsung. Samsung is the strongest brand at the moment. So uh, you're, you're mostly selling or buying and selling locally. What is your angle? No, so locally, is low market is very less. We are buying and selling, importing, exporting. Would Dubai be your major market or? Well, where, where, where would you say? My major market is Europe. Europe still? Yeah, still you, Europe. Oh, uh, both buying and selling? Buying selling both major is Europe, yeah. Europe. Okay. yeah. We are trying to expand now to USA and Dubai, but the main, still now at the moment is Europe. So, having said that, how do you think Samsung is doing? You know, a lot of, it's, it's, there's a lot of demand, obviously. Uh, very often there is a lot of shortages. Yeah. Very often there is a lot of surplus and that crushes the prices. How do you see? Yeah, you have to play in the market. Eh? You have to know if, when it's short, you have to keep the stock. When it's, you know, the, on the back is coming more, just clear it. Very few people, very few companies seems to be stockholders, uh, to be able to hold stock, because that requires a lot of money and... Uh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the thing. You have to, financially, you have to be strong to keep the stock. Otherwise, you have to sell it. So, back-to-back uh, -back is not exactly the... No, the back to back now the margins are very less. You can work back to back, but you will not make any good. So you have to take the risk. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. You have to take the risk. You have to buy and then you have to play on it. From hold it or sell it. How do you feel all these companies? Uh, let's say they, they they buy they pre book their stock on a certain price, and by the time it got delivered. The, the market price already uh, crashed. How do you think? Is, he, is there a way out of it? Or? Yeah, I never did that. I never pre-booked a uh, stock. I, mean, I believe when stock is physical, give me the price, I will see. I'll take it or not. But it has to be here and now. Yeah, it has to be physical. You have it, okay, I need it, I'll take it. But uh, pre-booking, it's dangerous, it's risky. And normally now the companies who want giving pre-bookings, the prices are high. They're not giving standard price, okay, you will pre-book, then you know you, when you get the stock, it will always good price. So your, your, uh, your belief is that, as I said, as, as long as it's physical, it's, 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 it's safe enough? Yeah, 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 it's physical, you have the stock the next day, and then uh, from next day you can start, start selling. Uh, have you felt that your volumes are going up or down? Uh, well, what I'm trying to ask you is that, is there, that, do you expand your existing traditional channels? Uh, quantity wise or you're trying to sell more bigger quantities to the channels that you already have no. you're trying both both both, both. A both. both yeah a bit of both we're trying to expand our quantity selling on, on a regular basis on regular customers and also expanding with new customers they're buying good quantities so expanding and growing well, what will give you it will give you a power to be present in more markets and to be less dependent on other markets or how do you see it? 
it will be like this one when sometimes one market is down then you have another market that you can still uh, work on it so that's that's normal when sometimes europe is strong it's a lot of demand and some the currency is different yeah and the currency is different that's the main play player here is the currency currency is the king it, cur currency is the king that's the it hurts, it hurts a lot when you lose money over currency yeah. but you can gain a lot sometimes if you know the market if well. you know the market well you can gain and you can lose that's that's the ri this is the risk again in the in this uh, whole thing because you're such a um, uh, good partner you know in terms of uh, that you know the market well and it's you're ready to share um, how do you see in the immediate future do you see any major thing happening like a big shift like completely you know Samsung will get stronger Apple will lose out something can you can you see something cooking can you see something that's gonna happen immediately mm, immediately, in immediate no, immediately no but I think Apple is now losing game, uh, train you can feel it already yeah we can feel it already but it's going it's not that demand is going down because still shortage of stock so what you're saying it's a strong demand but still with less heat kind of yeah yeah, yeah. the profits of Apple is it's just low, just low. Okay, well, yeah that will be interesting thing to follow yeah in of course of course of course so thank you for your uh, trading insights and for the information that shared with us uh, I will love for you to share with us uh, using GSM exchange over the years we know each other for such a long time uh, what did you find the most beneficial to your business after all these years but what did you find the most beneficial for your business trading now GSM exchange I started in 2008 and from that time uh, we have expanded a lot because uh, we know we have known companies for it so some companies we just have uh, uh, seen through GSM exchange never met but still dealing because uh, you can give us a good feedback about it it's uh, it's a word of trust trust is important yeah, issue trust in, this is, in this industry trust is important Your trust and name is everything that's everything you screw one time you're finished that's, that's very well put thank you very much for your kind words uh, we'll do our best to keep up with the good work it's been a pleasure having you thank you, yeah. thank you. thanks Pandi. thank you this was dylan from gsm exchange trade zone city wireless 2013 thank you